All right, guys. Uh, we just finished up with our Raftmaster. Uh, we think we have. Uh, we'll find out. Make sure everything's working right. Uh, we're watching water levels very closely to make sure they don't get too high. Uh, looks like we may have to do a little adjustment. Uh, we've sunk into the ground just a little bit on this end, which we expected. But the way we built our frame, which is a metal frame, it's, it's very easy to adjust. It's just a few screws. Jack it up a little, screw it back together. Uh, and keep right on going. Uh, this is not the manufacturer recommended way to support these, so if you do this, uh, make sure you have something solid underneath your, your raft master. That way you don't take a chance of your liner giving way. Uh, we are testing this thing to the limits to see exactly what it can do. Um, so if anything fails, we want it to fail for us and not for you. We don't expect it to. This uh, ultra screen that we're carrying in the uh, truck plant store is just fabulous. It's, it's some of the strongest stuff I've ever seen. So. We'll see how it works out. We have one lonely Malabar spinach in here that I just stuck in here. Um, I've got to go get some more of our grow grips, one inch grow grips that we carry in the store uh, from the same manufacturer as the Raftmaster, believe it or not, uh, the grow grips. So we'll be moving out of our, our makeshift raft that's on top of the fish tank, which is not a good place for uh, plants to be because all the fish poo gets in the roots, the solids, and uh, clogs them up. But uh, there you see it, that's our 4x6, which is just the first listed Raftmaster when you go and look at the 4x6s. Uh, good price, very quick and easy to put together, which I, I've got some videos of that. Uh, the liner is quick to put in, it took me, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes by myself for the liner. The plumbing, simple. Uh, this is our inlet, which we've got it set up to where we can twist it out and, and do whatever we need to do with it. Uh, this is our outlet, we've got to do a little work on this. Uh, to support it because we don't want this moving around and, and possibly tear our liner later but uh, that just goes back into the main sump uh, which is where the water comes from and we're just going to circulate in and out of the sump uh, because that's after the solids filter and uh, after the grow beds the media grow beds anyway that's it for now uh, you folks enjoy